I want to welcome you to the cloisters. One of the things we often ask you, our readers, you know, do you have a sacred space that you come to for peace and a place where you come to be regenerated? And this is one for me. Hi, I'm Rick Hamlin, and this is the Cloisters Museum in Upper Manhattan. It's part of the Metropolitan Museum, but it's a very special place. It's a collection of medieval art and architecture and sculpture, but it also recreates cloisters. There are three cloisters here that came from Europe. So if you can imagine, this cloister would be a place where monks over centuries came and did their prayer. Here we are in the middle of eight million people. This is a huge city, and this is a quiet, beautiful, restful spot. I want to take you through the galleries and, and show you a few little things in the gallery. Here's a good example of some of the sculpture you see at the cloisters. The three kings, they're bringing gold, frankincense, and myrrh, and I really quite love them because they look like they just stepped out of a Christmas pageant wearing just the right costumes. This is a painting by Roger Campion of the Annunciation. The Mary is about to be told that she's going to bear a child and it will be Jesus, the Son of God. What I love about this painting is it's happening not in a faraway place, but a home. And an angel will come right to your home, right while you're sitting there reading. One of the details over you'll see to the right is you see Joseph. And Joseph, he's a carpenter, and he's making a mouse trap, or he's made two little mouse traps. There's one right at the window. This is probably a reference to Jesus is the mouse trap that's going to snare the devil. But Jesus, Joseph, and Mary are just people that you would meet at the time that the painting was done in, in the Netherlands. This wonderful Gothic space, there are tombs of kings, queens, and a knight. And as I said about medieval art, one of the things I love are the details. And notice the knight in, in his armor, his feet are resting on his dog. Sort of a wonderful thought that into the afterlife, you're there with your dog. And of course, in medieval art, you get beautiful stained glass windows. Here, the nativity again with the three kings. Uh, I was at a lecture here once, and the the speaker made a wonderful point that I'd never thought of before. She said, you know, most art, it's the light that hits a painting. It's the light that hits a sculpture that helps you see it. But here you can think of how the divine light is what comes through that m makes something a work of art. And it's kind of the feeling I have when I visit the cloisters. I feel that sort of divine light coming through me. I hope you can come and visit when you visit New York. Come on a Saturday, Sunday, there's always talks in the afternoon, and you get to know a little bit about art of a different era and also a little bit about yourself. Mm -hmm.